say as human beings, why? The only reason why we are dominating every other creature, including massive creatures, much bigger than us, more powerful, faster, quicker, in strength, in capabilities, why we are dominating all of them is our ability to use tools, isn't it? So do not underestimate the power of the tools. If I ask you to unscrew this screw in this furniture, you try with your hands, your fingers, your fingernails, they will all break and bleed, but the screw stays right there. I give you a little screwdriver, but you don't know how to use it. You poke it here, poke it here, poke it here, poke it here, no use. Only if you put it right there and use it the way you must use it, suddenly another world, isn't it? Right now the greatest tools that we have in our hand is our own body, our mind, our emotions, our energy. These are our tools. If you harness these tools well, you will live wonderfully. If you don't harness them, you will live badly. If these tools turn against you, you will live terribly. Right now, what is it that human beings are largely suffering? No great amount of suffering is coming to you from outside. Everything is on self-help, isn't it? Poking yourself. Why? Because uh, we gave you a sharp mind. If we had given you the brains of an earthworm, you would also be very peaceful. But to develop this level of cerebral capability took millions of years of evolution to get you here, isn't it? I want you to just imagine, from a single-celled amoeba to make you like this, how much work, huh? And now you suffer this result. Hmm? Essentially what you're suffering is your own cerebral activity, isn't it? You have an intelligence for which you don't have a stable enough base. So it's poking you. Instead of being useful to you, it is poking you simply because this base is not stable. So one thing is to create a stable base so that this intelligence works for you. So these seven days of online program and what we are trying to do here, one thing is, we have very effective tools, but it must be in the right hand only if you use it the right way. It opens up a new dimension to human life. In the engineering process by itself involves the body, the mind, emotion and energy. What we need to do with the body and energy we will have to do direct because that's a kind of a transmission, that is not a teaching. But what we do with mind and emotion is a kind of a teaching that you can experience online. For most human beings, if the way they think and feel changes, you will see there is a tremendous change in their life.